Hey guys, welcome to Yoga TX. I'm Jen Hillman and today's video is a special power yoga video designed to help you lose weight, tone your muscles, and burn some calories. So we're going to move pretty quick through this sequence. It's definitely going to challenge your stamina. It's going to challenge your strength and challenge your willpower. But I'm right here doing it with you, encouraging you all along the way. So roll out your mat and let's get ready to do some power yoga for losing weight. Go ahead and like this video. Give me a thumbs up and we will get started together standing at the top of your mat. All right, so now that you're standing at the top of your mat, bring your feet parallel to one another. Root down through your toes, through the balls of your feet, and through your heels, so you feel your feet are heavy and really connected to the earth. Then lift up on your legs, already energizing the strength of your legs. Hug the muscles close onto the bone and lift up through your waist, growing tall. Feel your abdominals lifting up and in, growing tall through the sides of your waist. So you're energizing your body from the bottom up. Spread your collarbones apart, lift the crown of your head up to the sky, and feel your body energize and start to awaken with all of this conscious energy. Feel your breath moving through your body, even as you stand. And we prepare to move, prepare to work our way through this next few minutes of power yoga, getting your body moving, flowing, strengthening, all these good things. So you set your intention, you set your mind ready for the work at hand. And take your inhale and stretch your arms up overhead. Grow really tall, lifting up through your waist, stretch your whole body. And as you exhale, start to fold forward over your legs. You can pause here in this forward fold as we just take a moment to warm up your body. You can start to shift your weight side to side or sway your upper body right and left. Find whatever movements support you as you start to stretch and feel into those tight and creaky places in your body that need some love and attention today, slowly starting to warm up, greet your body, let the weight of your head relax so there's no tension in the back of your neck, let your arms and shoulders relax so you feel the weight of your upper body as you fold over your legs. And then we prepare to move again. On your next inhale, extend your spine, reaching your chest forward. If you need to bend your knees a little bit more, that might help you to really get a nice flat back. Lead with your chest and reach your sitting bones back. So you should feel the muscles in your back body really working hard here. Lift your belly up and in and take one more inhale. Breathe your breath in and fold your body down as you exhale and breathe your breath out. Now we're going to make that same shape two more times. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. You can bend your knees as much as you need and eventually they will go straighter. Reach your chest forward, activate the muscles along your spine, lift your belly up away from the earth, take one more breath in, and exhale as you fold, coming all the way down over your legs, release the weight of your head, and we'll inhale, extend your spine one more time, reaching your chest forward. Lift your belly, lengthen the sides of your waist, stretch the backs of your legs, energize the strength of your back. Then plant your hands down on your mat, and we're stepping all the way back to downward facing dog. 
press forward through your finger pads, through your knuckle mounds, and fire up the strength of your forearms. Extend through your shoulders so your biceps come alongside your ears. You can pedal out your feet right and left as you continue to stretch open the backs of your legs. You're gonna really think about reaching your sitting bones up towards the sky. Sometimes it helps me to rise up onto my toes, bend my knees, and then I have a little bit more space to stretch my sitting bones up so there's more length in my spine. Then once I find that length in my spine, I like to start extending my heels and extending my knees, reaching my feet back down towards the ground. So just play with your shape. Find your maximum stretch here in your downward facing dog. Then extend your right leg up towards the sky. Take a big stretch, lifting your leg way, way up. Draw your knee in towards your chest squeezing your belly in, then shift your weight forward over your hands and hover. <clears throat> then press back and extend your leg back behind you again. Tripod down dog. Draw your knee in towards your chest. Scoop your belly in. Shift your weight forward and hover for a moment. Then extend your leg back. Press it back, lift your hips high, lift your leg high, and then again, draw your knee to your chest. Scoop your belly in, squeeze your abdominals, shift your weight forward, and then this time, you're gonna see if you can step your foot down between your hands. If it doesn't come all the way, you can grab your ankle and help yourself get that foot way forward, okay? So you just find your way to your biggest, best lunge. Hug your legs in towards one another so you really activate the strength of your legs. Then we inhale and rise all the way up. Extend your arms up to the sky. Squeeze your biceps in towards your ears. Lift up through your waist and hug your belly in. Rely on the strength of your legs. You've got this. You can do it. Stay with me. We are going to twist the right. So really fire up the strength of your legs so you find that stability. Then twist your heart towards the right and open your arms out to the sides. So it's tempting, you might be leaning way far forward. I want you to reach back with those right fingertips so your shoulders stay lined up over your hips as you twist using the strength of your obliques and your core muscles as you twist. Then the next inhale, return to center, coming right back to your lunge. Then we're gonna open to warrior two position Spin your left heel down to the floor. Open your chest and extend your arms out to the side. Warrior two. You feel that right leg burning? Let's go a little deeper. Don't give up the fight. Stay strong. When you feel that inner heat burning, that's the, that's the feeling you're looking for. So stay with it, all right? You're strong. You've got this. Bring your left hand on your hip. Turn your right hand to the sky. Then let's reach up and back to reverse your warrior pose. Stretch your right side body. Then on your next inhale, we'll come all the way up and bring your right hand down to the ground. We're gonna move to a little balancing pose. So you can step your left foot forward in a bit, reach your right fingertips forward, shift your weight into that right leg, and extend your left leg up and back behind you. You can keep your left hand on your hip or start to extend that left hand up to the sky. 
And if you'd like one more little level of challenge, you can see about lifting your right fingertips away from the floor. Then everybody, bring your hands back down to the earth. Stretch your left toes to the sky. And we're gonna come right back to that lunge. So bend your right knee, reach your left toes back, coming into your lunge. You still with me? Plant both hands down on the ground and just lift your right toes so you come back to that hovered position. Now we're gonna switch feet, jumping, whoop, like a ninja. We're gonna do this a few times, back and forth. Try to be as quiet as you can. Try to be as efficient as you can. Squeeze your belly in as you switch back and forth. Slowly building up some speed. Switching. And then we're gonna land with the left knee forward, okay? So switch, two, three, four, five, and pause with the left knee forward, okay? And press your hips up and back. Extend your left toes up and back. Now you're in tripod down dog on the opposite side. Draw your knee into your chest, scooping your belly in. Shift your weight forward over your hands and pause. Then again, extend your leg back. Stretch your shoulders open, stretch your toes to the sky. Then draw your knee into your chest again. Squeeze your belly in. Shift your weight forward and extend it back. We've got one more here. Hug your knee in, shift it forward. And then this time you're gonna see if you can get that foot down between your hands. Take your time to set up your lunge and tune in to the strength of your legs. Hug your legs towards each other as you slowly start to rise all the way up. Extend those arms up alongside your ears. Lift up through your waist, hug your belly in, and really squeeze the muscles of your legs tight to the bones. Then we prepare to twist. Open your arms out to the side as you twist towards your front leg. Remember, you wanna use the strength of your obliques here to stack your shoulders up over your hips. Twist through your torso. Trust the strength of your legs. Then we slowly return to center, coming right back to that lunge. Then we'll open to our warrior two. Spin your right heel down, open your hips and extend your arms out to the sides. Lift up through your waist, right? You wanna to keep toning your belly the whole time. Bring your right hand to your hip, flip your left palm to the sky. When we'll reach up and back, stretching the left side of your waist. Reach through your left fingertips so you get a full maximum stretch through the left side of your body. Then on your inhale, we come back up. Go ahead and bring those fingers all the way down to the ground. So we're moving to our balancing pose now. You can step your right foot in a little bit and reach your left fingertips a little further forward. Shift your weight into that left leg and then lift your right leg up and back behind you. Make sure that that right leg is very strong and active. So no sleepy or lazy legs back there. Really make that right leg straight and strong. You can keep your, left, your right hand on your hip or extend your right arm to the sky. You can even take that balance challenge a little further by trying to lift your left fingers off the ground. So wherever you are, you find your best pose 
And then we'll release the fingertips down to the floor. Stretch your right leg up as high as you can. And then step back to your lunge. Reach those toes all the way back till you come to your lunge position. Plant your hands down. We're gonna do a little bit more core work here. Hover your left foot away from the mat. Then jump and switch. We're going to go back and forth, squeezing your belly in. Be as quiet and stealthy as you can, like a ninja. Slowly building up some speed. Going five, four, three, two, one. Let's press back to downward facing dog. <sighs> then lower your knees straight down to the floor. Lower your hips down to your heels. And let your forehead come all the way down to the floor. Take a moment to relax in your child's pose. Use this as a moment to catch your breath, to come back to center, to feel your body awake and energized. Then walk your hands up underneath your shoulders. Press yourself all the way up. Now we're gonna come down onto your bum. So just sit your hips over to one side and then you'll swing your legs around in front of you. We're gonna do a little bit of core strengthening to finish out our practice today. So if you haven't gotten your heart rate up yet, now's your moment. <laughs> so we're gonna start with boat pose. Bring your fingertips back behind you so you can press into the floor and lift your spine up. Keep that length in your back as you rock back onto your sacrum and your feet will start to float away from the ground. Keep lifting your heart up and extend your arms here. If you're still working on developing your strength, you can hold on to the backs of your legs so that you don't collapse in your chest but you keep your chest coming forward. That really tones the abs. So you can hold onto your legs if you need or keep your arms extended. And next step from here is to extend through your knees, reaching your toes all the way out. Then we're gonna row this boat by bringing your right knee in. Bring your hands to prayer as you twist towards that right leg. And then switch, twisting towards the left knee, right? Keep your chest long, keep your spine lifted as you twist and switch, going back and forth for five, four, three, two, and last one. Here, hug your knees into your chest. Then we're gonna come all the way down onto your back. All right, so from here, we're going to bring your right knee in towards your chest and then extend your left leg to hover just above the mat. Bring your hands behind your head and curl your chest and shoulders away from the floor. Twist your left elbow towards that right knee. Now we're gonna bicycle. So you're gonna switch to the other side. Very similar to what we were doing in the boat pose, but now you've got your back on the floor so you can isolate those abdominal muscles even more. Switching side to side. Going nice and slow, keep a steady pace. 
as we alternate back and forth, really working that core strength for five, four, three, two, and this is our last one. Hug your knees into your chest. Let your belly relax. Take a little heart opener to finish our practice today. Let your feet come down to the floor. Bring your heels in close to your sitting bones. And then extend your arms alongside your body with your hands flat to the floor. Press your shoulders down to the mat. Press your feet into the earth and your hips will start to hover and lift away from the floor. Keep pressing your hips up to the sky, using the strength of your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, your obliques and your low back, your whole back body is working to lift those hips up as high as you can. Take another moment here, press it up and then release your hips slowly back down to the floor. We're gonna take this bridge pose two more times. So press your shoulders down, press your hands down, press your feet down. Feel your hips as they start to rise. Press through the strength of your legs to lift your hips up a little higher Hug the strength of your uh, waist, your back, the backs of your legs. You feel your whole body working here to get those hips lifting up as high as you can. Even press the back of your head down into the floor. Take another breath in, lifting up as high as you can, and then release as you slowly exhale, coming all the way down to the floor. Take one more bridge to finish out our practice today. So prepare your body, really pressing everything down towards the earth. And as you root through your feet, through your arms and through your back, your hips and midsection start to rise, coming up towards the sky, connecting the heavens to the earth, building up strength in your whole body helping to reverse the flow of blood so that you can circulate all of that blood back to your heart to be restored and refreshed through your breath. Then we slowly release, coming all the way back down. Then go ahead and hug your knees into your chest again, stretching out your back body Let yourself start to slow down. Feel your breath return to a normal pace. You can slowly start to expand and let yourself come into this final resting posture, coming into Shavasana. Let yourself get settled and relaxed here. Take this moment to make any little adjustments that you need to so that you can really relax. Feel your heart rate. So we'll start to slow down. Feel your breath slow down. And just notice the quality of your thoughts and your mental state right now. I hope that you're feeling good about yourself for taking the time to do this practice with me today. you feel proud of your awesome body, how hard it was working and now is relaxing. I 
hope you feel grateful for this amazing life and the opportunity to be born into a body at all. So feel free to stay here and enjoy this resting pose for as long as your body needs it. There's no rush at all. Take your time. Give yourself the gift of this rest. And as you are ready to emerge, you can extend your arms up overhead. Take a nice, long, full body stretch. And then roll yourself slowly over onto one side. And then use your top hand to help press you up into a seated position. So we just come to sit nice and tall and let your body integrate all of the work that you've done. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. And as I said, I hope that you're feeling good and proud of yourself. I appreciate you taking the time to practice with me today. So go ahead and like this video, add it to your favorite so you can come back and practice again. Every day is a step a little bit further down the path of taking control of your health and your weight. So I hope you will practice with me again soon. Leave your feedback below. I love to hear your comments and hear how this practice is going for you. And remember, those positive thoughts are so powerful. Remember to give gratitude to your body, to have appreciation for yourself. That will really make all the difference in how you feel and how your body responds. So keep up those positive affirmations in your mind. If you start to get down on yourself, come on back and visit me again here at Yoga TX. Subscribe to the Yoga TX channel. Visit our website, yogatx.org. All kinds of awesome stuff for you to check out there. Some great downloadable videos. And there's also my website, jenhillman.com. I've got some great workshops and retreats coming up in the next year, and I'd love to see you at one of them. So I hope you'll check out some details at my site and come visit me soon. Have an awesome day. Hope you're feeling good. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.